Hey there, you're listening to the Girls Talking Life podcast, and I'm your host, Johanna. If you're like me, you love time with friends. I always leave feeling encouraged, inspired to try something different, or I've learned something new. So why not continue to grow even when we can't be with our girlfriends? We're not made to do life on our own. So in each episode of this show, I'll bring you a girl and her story to give you refreshing ideas to stir your soul. Let's walk this road together. Are you ready to talk life? Hi there, you are listening to week six of the Summer of Friendship series here on Girls Talking Life. Last week, we talked about our capacity for friendships. We took a look at who we have in our lives and thought through our expectations for ourselves and for those friends. If you identified a woman or two on your list that you'd like to get closer to, keep listening because today we're chatting about deepening our friendships, how you move from being acquaintances or casual friends to a closer, deeper relationship. If you missed last week's episode, I encourage you to go back and take a listen. Okay, let's get to it. I believe there are a few factors that lead us into deeper friendship. We're going to talk about four of them today. And the first two, I feel like they're the most important time and authenticity. It takes time spent together for someone to go from an acquaintance to a casual friend to a close, meaningful friend. If you were here last week, you heard me talk about the British anthropologist, Dr. Robin Dunbar. Dunbar says it takes about 200 hours of investment in the space of a few months to move a stranger into being a good friend. He goes on to say that that's just a guideline, not a precise number, but his research shows that time is a big factor in deepening friendships. I would argue that authenticity during the time you spend with someone is the next crucial ingredient. In order for the other person to truly know you, you need to show them your authentic self. Time together, being fully who you are, will bring you closer. We talked a little bit in episode 89, week three of this series, about being the real you and letting your weird show. I will admit that sometimes I have trouble doing this. I want to show up as my most polished self, but it's something I'm working on because I know that it will allow people to see my uniqueness more clearly. And when you're being your true self, your uniqueness will show more clearly how God masterfully created you. And it's what will make your friends love you more. Sarah Westfall, my guest host in this series, wrote a lovely article about authenticity versus transparency. In it, she says, we can be authentic from day one, but transparency is best earned with trust over time. I've linked to her essay in the show notes if you'd like to read more. So the first two factors in moving toward a deeper friendship are time and authenticity. Show up and be ready to genuinely share who you are. Number three and number four may not be as important to one and two, but they are still powerful tools to move you closer. They are asking good questions and listening well. Let's start with the questions. Get curious about the people in your life, specifically the women that you want to be closer to, and start asking them good questions. I am naturally curious and I have lots of questions, but if that's not you, Ask God to give you a healthy curiosity. Ask questions not from a place of nosiness or judgment, which can be easy to do sometimes, but instead seek to understand the person you're talking to. Some questions to ask might be, what's going really well for you right now? What's something I can be praying about for you? How have you seen God move in your life recently? Because I see so much value in questions that start good conversations, I created conversation cards with prompts and questions to get you going when you're gathering with women. Once you ask the questions, then you have to listen, and this may be the hardest part. Listening and really comprehending what is being said is not always easy, but if you care enough to ask the question, you should be willing to fully hear the answer. There are different ways to be an engaged listener. We can listen cognitively, hearing facts and having thoughts about what is said, We can also listen effectively, hearing emotions and having feelings about what is being said. When we do the latter and listen empathetically, we openly connect with the experience or the point of view of the other person. Listening is a way to love well. Author and professor of pastoral counseling, David W. Osberger, said that being heard is so close to being loved that for the average person, they are almost indistinguishable. 
We show love when we get to know a person, we listen well to them, and we use that knowledge to respond in a way that matters to them. In asking these questions to go deeper, chances are you're going to get a pretty personal, maybe even vulnerable answer. So how do we respond? Be empathetic to what was said. Even if you don't agree, you can always respond with gentleness and respect. Ask follow-up questions like, what do you mean when you say? And can you tell me more about? Proverbs 27.9 says that oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from her earnest counsel. I wholeheartedly want to be a friend who responds in this way. Now it's your turn to share a similar experience, or your own fear, or insecurity, or speak up about something that you're passionate about. But remember, we have to be authentic and share who we really are in order to be genuinely known. So in review, the four factors that can lead us into deeper friendships are time, authenticity, asking good questions, and listening well. That is all I have for you today. I hope you're encouraged by this and are already thinking about how you might put these tools to use. Next week, Sarah Westfall will be back to talk with us about showing up when life gets hard. Until next time, remember, friendship is an investment. It takes time spent together being your authentic self to create a deep, meaningful connection. Seek to know and understand your friends by asking questions and really listening to their answers. Being a follower of Jesus, I want to honor God in all I do, and I bet you do too. Let's go deep with our girlfriends by building them up and encouraging them. 